And Texas A&M starting very fast. 48 yards in their first play. Now the screen to Swope. To the 15. To the 10. Swope inside the 3. Blitz coming from the right side. Tannehill picks it up and rolls away from it. Throws the pass. Completes it to Jeff Fuller. First down at the 37. Brent Venables finally has something to smile about. Here's the handoff to Cyrus Gray, cutting outside, back in, past the 15. Country. Tannehill looking left. Throws and completes the pass for a first down. And 14. I mean, they, they've got to improve on the road. That includes neutral site games. Tannehill. On drive. Now first and ten from his own three. They run it right away and a big hole up the middle for Cyrus Gray. As you said at the start of the game, last week his first start was against Texas Tech. Now he has to go against an Oklahoma. Ryan Tannehill going up top, looking for Fuller, and he can't hook up. Stand on the sidelines and watch tonight. Third down. Tannehill going up top, looking for Fuller. Fuller's first catch of the night. If he stayed in bounds, he did not, they say. Most of the time makes this kind of play when he has one-on-one. -on -one. 153 career receptions coming in. You see him go to the high point. Just couldn't finish the play. Well, he's six foot four. He's four inches taller than Curtis Brown, and this really is his strong suit, Craig, going up. Turned it over on back-to-back -back plays now. Tannehill gave it off to Gray, and Gray goes. Tannehill, the fade to Fuller. Jeff Fuller, first catch of the night. He's made him pay with the fade to Fuller. Well, this will be 28 now touchdowns in his career, and you just, that's athlete. Unbelievable job with this young group this year. Fuller had a touchdown catch earlier against the slam from Tannehill. Because he's on the road, hostile environment. Tannehill, Fuller makes the catch. Fuller's got the first down. Catch because he's reliable. Quarterbacks love to know that when receivers run over the middle of the field, they'll make the catch. After the injury to Kristen Michael a couple of weeks ago. He's thrived in the role. Tannehill going for Fuller again, and he throws it way out of bounds. It'll be in the season season tonight. He's got 24. Let's have a touchdown catch. Back to the ground and Gray. And he'll get a couple. Fuller. Here at wide receiver as well. Fifth all time for the Aggies. That's right. There's Tannehill to the outside, and the catch is. Second and one, it's Gray, and Cyrus Gray picks up a first down down the sidelines, and finally, ball program turned around and headed in the right direction. He was an assistant under R.C. Slocum in College Station. First run of the game for Bradley Stevens, the junior out of. Thanks for the long kick return from the 33 off the play fake. Catch is made by Fuller during the course of the game and you get to a situation late with a key play and you don't have that challenge anymore. On second and seven, catch is made for a first down by Fuller. Part of that Matt had who has not made many mistakes since taking over a quarterback this season has thrown picks on the last two possessions. Here he hits Ryan Slope. Hard to bring him down. Three times today from Jefferson to Tolliver. Tannehill on second and eight. Here's Fuller. Peterson, the tackle, a yard shy of the marker. And if you want to run to the perimeter against LSU, I'd rather them attack them through the tackles like they did early in the first half. Tannehill to the outside. And the From the 49-yard line. Tannehill complete to Fuller. Play clock at three. Aggie's got the snap away. Here comes the pressure. Ball is knocked away from Tannehill. 
both teams very young. Third down and 12. Tannehill fires downfield looking for Fuller. Out of bounds. Invited a couple of Aggie fans he befriended during his club's visit to a local hospital. Earlier this week, here's Tyron Matthew after the big hit, and he takes it in.